Hey and welcome students. Today we are going to discuss more about your UPSR English paper. In the previous videos, I have given you tips on how to answer social expression as well as note expansion. So today, we are going to look at your paper 1 and to be precise, we are going to learn on how to answer question 25 of your paper 1. Now, as you are aware, Question 25 is the last question in your paper 1 in your section B and a lot of students consider question 25 is very tricky. Actually, it is not as difficult as you think it is. It's very simple. You just have to use the given stimuli and use the clues hidden in the questions to find the answer or to write the answer. So today I'm going to teach you how to use the clues, hidden clues and the given extract, extract to answer the given questions okay as you can see since i cannot draw or write everything so i have prepared uh, an example in the form of photostat material but sorry because the biggest size that i could get my hands on was a3 as you can see it's not enough so i would like to excuse myself for a while so that you can focus on the extract and then i'll be back to discuss about the questions okay now the example i've chosen is about the flyer okay the flyer is about metropolitan stock and there is a promotion up to 50% for Mother's Day. Huh? So there are some gift ideas. You have six options. Uh, Multi-purpose blender, coffee maker, microwave oven, pink blouse, cake and cosmetic set. And as you can see, the prices of each item is already given there. And buy items worth more than around 300 before 30th April 2017 to get mysterious free gift. Okay. Now, let's look at the dialogue given below. The dialogue is between Sun Ming and his dad. Okay, dad, according to the flyer by Metropolitan Store, they are having Mother's Day promotion. Since Mother's Day is one month away, we should go and have a look. Yes, we can choose a present for mom. Don't forget about your grandmother too. What do you think we should buy? Grandma's oven is broken and mom likes coffee. Don't forget that they both have a sweet tooth. Sure, let's go to the shop in the evening. They will be very happy. No problem. Bring your sister along. She may be able to help us. Okay, so this is the extra given. Okay, it's about choosing a present. Sorry, presents for Mother's Day for Sun Ming's mother and his grandmother. Okay, now as usual, Question number one, A, B is about thinking the right answer. I know it's quite easy, so I've already done it for you. Question A is Sun Ming's mother will most probably get a, the answer is quite simple, coffee maker. Why? Because she likes coffee. So that's the only option you can relate to the coffee. Lah. Okay. Now B, they will be very happy. The word they in the dialogue refers to. So they, it should be plural. So here they are talking about Sun Ming's mother and his grandmother. So once you have done this, you are eligible to get two marks. We still have six more marks left. Okay, here, oh, sorry, this is what we are going to focus today here. Okay, so I have copied the questions here so that you can have a better view. Okay, question 2A. She may be able to help us. Why do you think Sun Ming's father said that? Okay, before we discuss the answer, I would like to remind you something. Question 2A would move, uh, most probably based on two things. It's either what or why. If you don't believe me, you can refer to any of your previous exam papers or any exercise books that you have back at home. If you look carefully, question 25, 2A, based on what and why only. Sometimes, maybe once in a blue moon, they will talk about who, which is quite easy and I know you can answer that. So let's just focus on what and why, okay? If they ask you about what, you rephrase the given sentence, that's all. You just have to rephrase the given sentence in your own way and then you, you can score marks. If they give you why, please give reasons, okay? Reasons based on the extract, not your own reasons, reasons based on extract. So here, why do you think Sun Ming's father say that? Okay, the answer is, Sun Ming's father say that because Sun Ming's sister may be able to help them to choose the presents. Okay, now how did I come up with the answer? It's quite simple. Remember, previously I told you there are clues hidden in the question itself. Okay, here you have the clues are he, sorry, she and help. Okay, first she referring to whom? In the extract, they are talking about Sun Ming's sister. 
Okay, help. What they are talking about? They were talking about choosing presents for their mom and uh, grandmother, right? Okay, so the answer will be Sun Ming's father said that because Sun Ming's sister may be able to help them to choose the presents. So, as you can see, we use the hidden clue and the information from the extract to come up with the answer. Okay, now, question 2B. State two items that Sun Ming will most probably buy in Metropolitan store and give reasons to support your answer. Okay, here, you have to give two items. Okay, you have to assume, okay, uh, two items and then you have to give reasons. Okay, now, as you previously in the extract, as you saw, there are six options given to you. Okay, you can make any choices, but I chose the most easiest one, which is microwave oven and coffee maker. Why? The reasons are quite simple and it's already given in your extract, which was microwave oven for the grandmother. Why? Because grandmother's oven is broken. Coffee maker for mom. Why? Because mother likes to drink coffee. So, this will be your choice and these are the reasons for your choice. So, of course, you cannot write like this. You have to write in the form of complete sentence. But just to save time, I have given you in the form of notes. If you are planning to write in the form of full sentence, your answer should sound like this. The items that Sun Min will most probably buy in Metropolitan store is microwave oven for his grandmother because her oven is broken. He also will buy coffee maker for his mother because she likes to drink coffee. So if you can write like that, congratulations, you will get full marks, okay, for that particular question. And make sure, as usual, do not make any spelling error or any grammatical error. Okay, and now the last question, question number C. Do you think Sunni and his family can get the mysterious free gift? Give reasons to support your choice. Okay, here, the question is asking about mysterious free gift. So you just have to focus on here. So in the extract, they say, if you buy items more than RM300, you can get mysterious free gift. Okay, now we have, in the previous question, we have said that Sun Ming will buy microwave oven and coffee maker. Okay, microwave oven, uh, the price of microwave oven is RM190. Coffee maker is 200 So if you plus that, the total is RM390. As you can see, it is more than 300 So, do you think Sun Ming and his family can get the mysterious gift? Yes. Why? Because their total purchase is above RM300 and they are eligible to get the mysterious free gift. And some students, they will prefer to learn answer like this. Yes, because their total purchase is above 300 Still acceptable. Okay? Don't worry, this is still acceptable don't have you don't have to worry that your answer is not wrong enough to score marks okay this answer is still acceptable and considered correct because you have answered the question will they get yes why because their total purchase is above rm 300 and as you see just like what i did previously i used the clue in the question and the extract to come up with the answer so always remember for your question 25 Use the hidden clue and use the information from the extract to find your answer. If you can do that, trust me, question 25, no longer a tricky or difficult question for you. Okay, so I hope this video will be useful and beneficial for you. So maybe in the next video, we try to discuss about something else regarding your English paper. Okay, thank you and see you again students.